There's no question that the British royal family is wealthy. But they're still saying Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They're still saying Prince Harry. You're not a prince, right? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle still maintained their Sussex royal website, despite a previous promise made when they stepped back from the royal family. I want you to hear the truth from me, as much as I can share, not as a prince or a duke, but as Harry. Even though the Duke and Duchess of Sussex left the firm back in 2020 and pledged to cease using the Sussex Royal title globally after spring 2020, their royal website and Sussex Royal Instagram account with over 9 million followers still remain active. Woke culture, or what I'm talking about as nice acting narcissism. And their website, sussexroyal.com, features a page titled Serving the Monarchy, which hasn't been updated to acknowledge the passing of Queen Elizabeth. But it doesn't look like Harry and Meghan even cared to update these websites anyways. They kind of just have them lingering around. But still, the royal family is kind of wondering, okay, you're not doing any royal duties. At least uh, don't try to like attach yourself to us in that way. You add this on top of just trying to be a new mom or trying to be a newlywed. As well as somebody from the Sussex's team could at least update the website to reflect some updated accurate information, especially about the passing of the queen. So that's a point that's causing a lot of discussion online. The website also does feature a statement from Meghan and Harry, but it's dated back to January of 2020, and it outlines their intention to step back as senior members of the royal family. As time passed, the protective blanket that America threw over Meghan began to slip away. And in the statement, they expressed a desire to achieve financial independence while still supporting the monarchy. Notably, there is no reference to King Charles' coronation on the website, although the Sussex's Instagram page is still active too. Their last post dates back three years ago. King of kings and lord of lords, bless we beseech thee this crown. God save the king! And in that Instagram post, the couple expressed gratitude for the support, inspiration, as well as the collective commitment to positive actions in the world. And the ownership of the website sussexroyal.com actually remains anonymous on GoDaddy. But the website's launch reportedly surprised the late queen as it was outlining the couple's future royal roles without her prior approval. So they kind of just went on their own anyways and just did it. According to the royal author, Omid Scobie, in his book, Finding Freedom, Meghan and Harry's statement outlining their half in, half out model was made before receiving any sort of approval from the queen. There was also one senior member of the royal family as mentioned by Omid Scobie in his book, that they noted that the surprise as well as lack of consultation with the queen really upset the family. It was very unsettling for everybody. They say, oh, this is Meghan and Harry feeding yeah. Omid. Pick up the book and read it and you'll be really surprised. And the private nature of the royal family clashed with public announcement. It caused a lot of distress to Queen Elizabeth, who is the head of the institution, or was the head of the institution, I should say. Edward Young, who is the Queen's private secretary, reportedly expressed anger at being kept uninformed about Meghan and Harry's statement. And Omid Scobie, in his book, suggests that the couple felt compelled to release their statement after details about their desire to live in Canada were leaked to the press. So guys, that is the scoop. And I know for most people, when they leave an institution or an organization, the first thing that they do is disassociate themselves completely. Like they change their Facebook bios, their profiles, they remove any sort of attachment to that institution regardless. But for Harry and Meghan to just leave their stuff up and not take it down, not set it private at least, you know, People are looking at it like, what are they hoping to get here? Maybe they're looking to, you know, still have their ranking. Like if you search Duchess of Sussex or Duke or Harry Meghan, it's, it, it pops them up on the internet as being associated with the royal family. I really don't know. But the fact that it's still left up, I think that they just don't really care to keep those pages updated and maybe they plan to reuse them. I think that's the bigger thing, that maybe they plan to reuse them someday because there are reports saying that they want to be part-time royals, like fulfill the royal duties on a part-time basis throughout each year and this would get them in the good graces of the royal family and maybe take off some of the public pressure that they've been facing. So 
I would say that's probably the main reason why they kept it up. And again, some people think that they just forgot about it, others don't care. Some people think that they're just doing it as an affront to the royal family. So much, so much controversy this is causing. So much conversation. So as always, guys, I throw it over to you. What are your thoughts about this? I shared my views, I shared what other people are saying out there, but let's hear from you. Sound off below in the comment section. Thanks for hanging out with me here on FTD News. I'll catch you guys next time. Boom.